welcome to my natural nails with simple nail art tutorial and I used for this look a base coat and I used a pale pink um, base coat on top of the base coat so it can give me the natural nail look for those nails that I will be doing the art on and I used acrylic paint top coat, nail art brush, and a dotting tool, and rhinestones. So here I am actually sealing the nails that I'm going to do the nail art on because I went in with the blue, which is going to be my primary color. I went in with the blue to add, so for the accent for the rest of the nails so it could blend and look really nice with the nail art. So I'm going in with a dry fast top coat so I can go in with my nail art brush and create some art. And so right now, I'm making sure that they're covered with the dry fast. So if I make any mistakes, I can easily clean them up with no problem without disturbing what I've already created, basically. Because that is such a pain to have to go back and repolish your nails and especially if you've gone so far. And yes, my nails are natural, um, and they have to be, because I'm allergic to acrylic, to fake nails and stuff like that. I can't wear it, so yeah. These are my natural nails. Normally they're really long, but for some reason I filed them down really short this time. And um, I'm liking it though. But anyway, here I'm starting my nail art. And I usually do it this way because I like to finish the art first so I don't ruin the rest of my nails because I have to constantly pick up the brush or the dotting tool or the um, the paint or whatever I'm constantly picking up stuff see here I made a little boo-boo I didn't like it so it what I love about the the um, acrylic paint is that you can easily remove it with a little bit of water in a q-tip and bang it's gone you start all over again and that's pretty much what I did as you can see it was no it was no problem I was able to pick up right where I left off it didn't take any time at all so anyway I'm going in and I'm creating whatever I want and that's basically what happens with nail art you pretty much get whatever you do with the nail art brush if you want to make a squiggly line that's what you'll get a squiggly line if you want to go straight you'll get a straight line if you want to go uh, I don't know curves or whatever you want to do if you, that's what you do that's what's going to come out on the nail which is the cool thing and the best thing for me what I love about nail art and what well what I love about nail art is that you pretty much can do whatever you want and it doesn't have to match. Like, all my nails are not going to match. They're not, the colors are the same, but the designs are not going to be the same. And I like that because, to me, that's the cool part about it. Because when people look at them, they're like, they'll see that, oh, my goodness, all of them are different. Those are so cool. And that's what I like about it is that it's different. They're all different. None of them are always the same. So that's the cool part about it. But anyway, um... This is just something that I like to do for my um, my me time. Um, I couldn't let anybody else do my nails because I'm kind of like, it irritates me a little bit. <laughs> and I hate to say that, but it does. Because if somebody's not doing something that I like or how I would do it, then I would be that person that's probably irritating them the whole time they're trying to do their job. So I don't want to be that person, so I just do it myself. I actually do my nails once a week. That's a manicure included. I do my daughter's nails and I do her feet. I do my own feet. I do, we have our, I don't, like a spa slash our beauty day where I work on the both of us together and we just do this and she loves it and I love it too because she's so creative as well because I let her pick out whatever she wants to do she tell me and I do it and that's what's so cool because she picks what 
she wants and that's that's what's so sweet about it but I actually ended up using three um art nail art colors which um and you could kind of say my primary color that blue is a fourth but the cool thing about nail art is that you can always do even more colors if you like but it can start to look a little messy so sometimes one color looks nice two three I say the most four actual separate nail art colors um, can still look nice but when you go past that it can start to get a little messy but it also depends on the art that you're doing so and practice makes perfect so trust me I've done a lot of practice um, with this and over time it does get better but don't be discouraged because trust me you can literally buy the paint and get you a brush and just practice on your nail making different lines and that's how I learned and trust me that's like the fastest easiest way to learn is just practicing on your own nail um, with a nail art brush and it becomes fun because the more you do it you'll be like oh I got it I got it and it's it's not really that hard and I know people will be like oh it's not hard to you because you know how to do it but <laughs> it really isn't it's really not hard so um, just practice and it makes perfect but here I'm going in with my pink I love me some pink and I'm adding some pink to it because actually every color on my nail is like the color for me I love my blues yellows pinks I love my greens um, oranges I, I just I love colors I love bright stuff it's just so so much better when it's bright uh, I even like the dark stuff too that's like the dark colors too that those look nice too um, but it's summertime so I like the brights right now um, but here I'm adding my pink to my nail art design because um, I wanted to brighten it up a little bit more and the yellow was already nice and bright so I'm gonna add some more brightness to this design with uh, this pink um, and to uh, it's just gonna be so cute see already already I'm loving it and you know some people would look at that and be like oh I'm done but I'm a little extra so I like a little extra <laughs> a little extra extra but you know sometimes extra is good but I do I do like extra because extra is me um but here I'm just adding some more pink and um yeah there it is and that one I'm done I think I was done with that one and then I'm I'm gonna go back with my dotting tool and with my brush and add a little detail that I want to add in some spots that I feel are maybe empty or need a little bit of attention so and that's just something I usually do after I stare at them for a while I look and I say you know what I want to add this or whatever and right here I'm gonna make a little boo-boo I know and but it's an easy cleanup with the q-tip with a little bit of water and it's gone and that's why I like to put the top coat on the nails that I'm gonna design because like I said earlier in the video, it's easier to go back and clean up. Um, and you don't ruin what you already put down. So, and it makes it much easier to fix anything. So here, I'm going to, um, I'm checking them out. And on my, yeah, on my, one of my fingers I already did a little detailing on my left hand but I'm gonna go in and finish up 
and do some more detailing. And like I said, I like to do my art nails first and complete those and then polish the rest. So I won't have to fix anything in the end with my, um, with the rest of my fingernails because I'm constantly picking up stuff. And I've done it before. That's why I don't do that anymore. Um, you see my little, um, my little, um, my little, what do you call it? My little thing for my paint. I use that to to hold my paint while I'm doing my nails. It makes it so much easier. You put a little bit on there and you get a little paint and keep going. Um, so right now I'm adding my detail to my nails with the brush. See? I got to bam. Wait. Oh, got to get the excess off. Go in. Bam. Bam. And that's it. And this is so... I think it's so relaxing and calming to do my nails. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but that's how I feel about it. And now I'm using my dotting tool. I believe I'm using my skinniest one where I go in and create some dots on my nails. And yeah, my mess. I love my mess. And then I go in and I'm creating some more dots. And I usually use, I try to use, do the dots and probably all the colors I've probably used for the art. Um, I don't know, that's just something I like to do. You don't have to do it. You can use one color and go in with your details. It's all up to you because um, it's what you're creating. Um, and this is, this is just what I like. Um, I'm never trying to make someone do or like or be exactly like what I'm doing. I like to, but that's what I like to do. Because I love a whole bunch of, but I, like I said, I love a whole bunch because why? I'm extra. Call me extra. But yeah, I'm going in with my dotting tool. And there I made a little, I wasn't happy. It was too thick. Um, so I removed um, the dots that I did previously. And now I'm going back in. Same color, which was the yellow. But it was just too much paint on my dotting tool. So it was like, I didn't like how it looked. But anyway, I um, went in and changed that. And I ended up being happy. Like I said, it's it's not hard um, to fix if you mess up. If you do the steps like I said, it makes it easier to clean up. If you don't, you're going to have a problem. If you rub too hard... You're going to have a problem because guess what, ladies? If you didn't know, I'm going to tell you. It takes 24 hours for polish to completely dry. Yes, if you didn't know. Some people didn't don't know. Some people do know. I don't know. But if you didn't know, I'm letting you know. 24 hours, ladies. So that's just like if you go to the nail salon. And you thought your nails were dry? Uh, they're not. It's still wet because you got 24 hours. Now here, because I'm extra, I like to add a little bit of glitter accent to my nails to give it that sparkly kind of like, um, well, yeah, sparkly effect. Here I'm using the actual striper brush, which I don't really like because it's kind of fat but um, I don't know. I, I I just do sometimes because sometimes I don't like having to clean my um my nail art brush. Um, but I usually will use my nail art brush, dip my nail art brush in the glitter paint and or oh, glitter polish, sorry, and go in and create whatever I'm creating, um, doing my accenting or whatever, and 
but this time I didn't do that. And there's no particular, like I said, the only reason why sometimes I don't is because cleaning them, cleaning my brush, sometimes I lose like the hairs and it thin my brush out from like the polish remover. And I don't, I, I try not to sometimes, but anyway, here I'm starting to polish my nails. Wasn't too crazy about this polish because it was very thin. Uh, so I was getting worried that I was going to have to do more than two coats because I only like to do two coats and that's it. Now I'm going around the side of my nail and cleaning off the excess polish because my nails are fairly wide and I always try to like paint the entire nail. That's just me. Um, I do do that. Um. And to each his own, I know some people just paint right down the middle. They don't really worry about getting the sides because they don't want to clean the sides. I do paint my entire nail and I clean the sides um, with either, sometimes I do like I did. I'll take my dotting tool and wipe off the extra really quick and um, sometimes go in with a Q-tip with nail polish remover on it and just clean, up, clean it all the way off. Or I'll use my cuticle pusher um, and I will wrap uh, cotton around it and dip that in the nail polish remover and clean it off. So to each his own, um, I know some people like to use a brush and go around the cuticle and clean off the excess paint. I don't use the brush. It's no reason why I don't. I just don't. Um, I do what works for me as everyone should do what works for you and what you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with what the way that I do it. Um, and it works for me. So that's what I do. Uh, but I'm just going in now and polishing the rest of my nails and believe it or not. Oh, and with my two nail art nails, those have actually been polished with, um, a dry fast top coat. Um, already so the art is sealed now and um it should be smudge proof so i shouldn't have any smudges or anything um because actually in between the time i waited about 10 to 15 minutes before i started polishing um the rest of my nails with the blue and i do that just because uh like i said i don't like, I like spending time on me, but I don't want it to take all day long or all night long. So, um, I try to do my steps spaced out so I don't have to, um, so I won't make big mistakes or have to go back and fix anything. So, and right there, I'm just rubbing probably, I think I had a little paint on my fingers or something like that. But yeah, and I think next time too, I'll just do one hand and show you all and then I do the other one off camera and then just show you the end result so you'll see how it all turned out. Um, but this is just how it looked so far um, before I did all my finishing touches. And I did in the end add rhinestones at the base bottom by my cuticle, um, some rhinestones, and I did... Uh, put two on my thumbs only. Um, I did not put any rhinestones on the nail art nails. Um, and I did add cuticle oil and lotion to my hands. And believe it or not, I washed my hands and got all the paint and stuff off my hands. Cold water uh, when I did it. But I did check them first before I did, and they were pretty dry. And this is about maybe 20 minutes after I did the dry fast top coat. Um, so they were they were set um, pretty good. I didn't have any fear that they were going to get smudged or anything. But this is my end result. Um, I think it turned out really nice. Um, this was my first time ever using that brand of nail polish, which was, I believe, LA Girl. Um, I found it in Target. It was like $2.99 or whatever. But they're not bad. It's pretty good. I don't know how long it's going to last. I do my nails every week. But thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you next time.